Welcome guys to today's class. In today's video, we want to discuss another important experiment in physics practical and that is experiment on cantilever. This experiment is related to that experiment in bending moment. Experiment on bending moment is related to experiment on cantilever. That means as we embark on this experiment, you will see that it applies the principle of bending the principle of depression okay so it's important to note that this experiment will be of two types the one involving the use of principle of bending or depression and the one that make use of what oscillations okay okay it has the objective to determine the young modulus of a meter rule the meter rule we talk about is that 100 centimeter rule, the one you make use of in the lab. Apparatus are two meter rules, G clamp, rotor stand, sets of waist, a vernier caliper, and a pointer. That means we need two meter rule to embark on this experiment. Now, look at the diagram. Okay, use a G clamp to clamp a meter rule. You take one of the meter rule, clamp it with G clamp. Look at the G clamp, clamping it. Such that about 75 cl of the meter rule is projected. Wow. That means, that means here is zero. So from here to here will be 75 cl. That means about 25 cm will be inside here about 25 cm will be from here to here okay so from here to here will be 75 cm okay measure the distance of the meter rule above the ground using the second meter rule and record this value as po now you keep another meter rule the second one vertically this start from zero you measure this distance from zero to what? To this point. Measure the height of this meter rule from the ground. Call it your PO. Okay? When you call it your PO, then hang a mass M equals to 100 gram at 5 cm mark from the free end of the meter rule. Look at the free end of the meter rule. So calculate 0.5 cm and put your what mass on it. Put your mass on it. Calculate from here to here is 5 cm. Put your mass on it. So when you put the mass on it, something will happen. That mass, it has weight. And so it will try to what? Depress or bend the metal. Rule. That is where the principle of bending or principle of depression comes in. If you get a higher young modulus, it means that that metal rule is very stiff. So the young modulus have a direct relationship with how stiff and how flexible a metal rule is. Look at what I am saying. Look at the metal rule. If I insert a mass on this metal rule, if this metal rule is very stiff, the way it will bend will not be the same with the way the one that is flexible will bend. I don't know if you are getting what I'm saying. There is an amount of mass I will, I will keep on this metal rule, it will break it if it is very stiff. But if it is very flexible, there is whenever I put mass here, it will just be bending like broom, like flexible bloom. Are you getting it? It will just be bending like flexible broom, so to speak. So, and when you remove the mass, it will go up. Are you getting it? But when you are dealing with stiff metal rule, when you bend, try to bend it, it can break. Are you getting it? So, how stiff a metal rule is, is dependent on what? Value of young modulus. So, young modulus is a way of determining quantitatively how stiff or flexible a metal rule or any instrument so to speak is 
So the higher the stiffness, the higher the Moyong modulus, so to speak. Okay. And so we are applying this principle of bending to see how flexible, how stiff the metal rule is. And so from what we get, we will be able to check our answer. So this experiment, applying the principle of bending is this. Then applying the principle of oscillation means that this metal rule will what? Keep it to oscillate. It will just be moving up and down. Are you getting it? Uh, so it depends on how you stretch it. If you stretch it too high, it will move as fast as possible. If you stretch it small, at the small angle, it will be moving small, small. So that you will not miss, I mean, you will not make mistake. But while trying to pause your stopwatch, you watch, you pause it below the time or above the time, give or above the number of oscillation given. So that is one. So when we hang M equals 100 gram, this will depress or bend. We take the words distance from the ground to it. We call it our P. Then we subtract P, O, and P to get our Y. That is how to perform it live and direct in the laboratory. Then, record the difference between P, O, and P. I've talked about it. When you record the difference, you call it your Y. Then repeat this experiment with masses 200 gram, 300 gram, 400 gram, 500 gram, and tablet your readings. Yes. Now, the essence of this experiment I'm performing here is for us to see how we can perform this without stressing ourselves, setting up apparatus. So the only thing I will need in this experiment is to measure from zero to what? To the PO, to note my PO. Once I note my PO, the whole thing is sorted out. I can continue what I'm to do. Okay, measure the breadth, the thickness of the metal using vernier caliper. Wow, we have to use a vernier caliper to measure the breadth. Breadth means from here to here, and the thickness means from up to down. That's how thick the metal is. Now, that is about the first one. So, we'll see, see how to work, do the manipulation without wasting our time. We'll get your answer. Set up the experiment again. We want to see the another experiment. This time, set the mass M equal to 100 gram into oscillation. When you put the mass M, you what? When I put the mass M here, are you getting it? The metal is clamped. I put the mass M. So what I will now do is that what? I will keep it to be in oscillation. It will be counting. I'll be counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. And keep my stopwatch. Are you getting it? So, I am to get for 10 complete oscillations. Yes, when I get to the number 10 oscillation, I'll stop. So, getting to 9, I'm about to stop. Record the time T of the oscillation. Repeat this experiment for M200, 300. So for 200, when you immerse it, you set it on it, oscillation again. Please ensure that you don't stress it too, stretch it too much. If you stretch it too much, it will move as fast as possible. And you may not be able to get your time oscillation accurately. So stretch it very small at a very small. And that means this is one of the precautions you have to say that I... Here was taken while stretching the, or bending the metal rule by ensuring I bend it at a very small angle to minimize error. Are you getting it? So when you say what you did, try to tell them how you did it and why you did it. Here was taken while bending the what metal rule by ensuring that it is bent at a very small angle so as to minimize error. Okay. That is one of the precautions you will say or you write in this experiment. Repeat this experiment for this. Okay. So, after we do this experiment, we plot a graph of M against Y and obtain E slope. Plot a graph of M against T square and obtain E slope. 
deduce the value of young modulus of a from the two graphs. Yes. So that is what we are to. Okay. Now to see how to fill this table, first thing you have to do is note your PO. Take the, the, the measurement of distance from the ground to the height of the metal row that you clamp on the desk. Note it. So we noted it to be 86 cm, which is equal to 0 0.86 meter. Cm divided by 100 will give it to you in meter. Remember, we said this experiment tells you how stiff or how flexible that metal rule is, both from the principle of oscillation and from the principle of depression. That is what this experiment will help us to appreciate. Okay. Now we have noted our PO and we have our mass. So I've tried to convert the mass to kilogram. It was given in grams. And grams divided by 1000 gives you kilogram. Okay. So I will write 0 0.86. 0 0.86 is constant. Your PO is constant. Okay, remember I said, once you note your PO, you don't need to perform any other thing anymore. Once you note your PO, you are covered. Okay, we come again. We now say that, how do we get this our Y? This our Y has a formula that Y is equal to K times M, where K is a constant. M means masses, these masses we talk about. Then what is the value of K? What is the meaning of K? K means GLQ. K means GLQ BTQE. Now, what do we mean by this E? E denotes the young modulus we are talking about. Young modulus we are talking about. That is this E. I get in it, young modulus. And so for meter rules, for meter rules, for the uh, for most meter rules we have experimented on, the young modulus falls between 0 0.33 to 3.31 times 10 raised to the power of 9 newton meter squared. That is what the range is. Depending on how steep, that means anyone about 0 0.3 is more of flexible, anyone about 3 points is more of what stiff. I get in the higher the young modulus, the more stiff the meter rule is. Now, this is about Newton per meter square. So one can say, let him put it in dime per centimeter square. That means we can put it in many units. And so these are some of the units we can put it to be. And so what is the relationship between Newton meter square and dying? Tell them that one Newton meter square is equal to 10 dying per centimeter squared. One Newton per meter square equal to 10 dying per centimeter square. And so here will be 3.3. To what? 33.1 times 10 raised to the power of 9. Dying per centimeter squared. Okay? And so, we are to... I, I want us to use Newton per meter square because I'm putting every of my units to be in SI units. Okay? And so, we say, let's take our what? Modulus to be 0 0.5. Take the modulus of the meter root to be 0 0.5 because the ones I have experimented on, majority of them have been giving me 0 0.5. And so let's just take it to be 0 0.5. And so we now say this k will be equals to g is what? 9.8 meter per second squared. L is equal to 0 0.75. 0 0.75 meter e we have noted it now the breadth the breadth of the meter rule 
I use the vernier caliper and measure from here to here. From here to here. That means distance from here to here. The breadth gave me 2.5 centimeter, which is equivalent to 0 0.025 meter. Then I also use the vernier caliper to check the what? The thickness. Are you getting the thick thickness of that meter row? And it gave me that the thickness is equal to 0 0.5 centimeter, which is equivalent to 0 0.005 watt meter. Because when you divide centimeter by 100, you get it in meter. So getting our care, we say 9.8 times times 0 0.75 all raised to the power of 3 all over 4 times 0 0.025 times 0 0.005 all raised to the power of 3 times 0 0.5 times 10 raised to the power of 9. Okay. Okay. So what you now do is that you use your calculator and start packaging all you have here. You start to tell them that nine nine point eight times zero point seven five cube divided by bracket four times 0 0.025 times 0 0.005 Q times 0 0.5 times 10 raised to the power of 9. So that will be giving you equal to 0 0.615 meters. 0 0.6615 meters. Are you getting it? That means our Y, Y, since K is 0 0.6615 meters, our Y will be equal to K times the mass. So watch how we do it. The first is, the first mass is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 times this, that will be giving you 0 0.1 times 0 0.6615. That will be giving you 0 0.06615. Please try to use your calculator and follow me through, okay? 0 0.06615. I've noted it. Then what I will do is I'll approximate it to be 0 0.07 to two decimal place. I will go again 0 0.6615 times 0 0.2. That is the second mass. The second man is 0 0.2. That will be giving me 0 0.1323. Approximated to be what? 0 0.13. Then, we say times 0 0.3. That will be giving me 0 0.19845. Approximated to what? 0 0.20. Then, times 0 0.4. 0 0.2646, that is approximated to 0 0.26. Then, times 0 0.5. That will be 0 0.33075. 0 0.33075, that is approximated to 0 0.33. So, we have gotten our Y. That means, if I am you, once I just get the height, I'll just go home and use my calculator within 2-3 minutes get my word results depending on how fast you are in pressing calculator getting your p since we noted that po minus p is equal to y since we noted that po minus p equal to y from the diagram that means that p will be equal to po minus y so we'll be more subtracting we will be saying 0 0.86 times 
minus 0 0.07. What will it be giving you? 0 0.79. 0 0.86 minus 13, 0 0.13. That will be giving you 0 0.73. 0 0.86 minus 0 0.20. That will be giving you 0 0.66. 0 0.86. 0 0.86 minus 0 0.26. That will be giving me 0 0.60. 0 0.86 minus 0 0.33. That will be giving me 0 0.53. So we have gotten the full table for the first experiment. If you enjoyed this video, Please don't forget to click what like subscribe share to your friends that subscription is very important to me okay that is a way of promoting my channel showing me you appreciate my good work yes share to your friends so that they too can learn as well then we go to the second experiment they say set up the experiment again this time set the mass m equal to 100 gram 200 gram 300 gram 400 gram 500 gram into oscillation to perform simple harmonic motion for 10 seconds and um, for 10 complete oscillations and record the time t of the oscillations. Now we have noted our PORP, so we don't need to make uh, take measurement of any other thing. What we have to do is we tell them that again t square is equal to k m again. How in this case, what is value of k? The value of k, where your k is equal to 16 pi square L what q all over b t cube what e. Tell them that k is equal to 16 pi square L q all over b t cube what e. We know our e. Our e is 0 0.5 exponential 9 newton per meter squared okay and so we know our l we know our b we know our thickness and our e so we say our k will be equal to 16 pi squared times 0 0.75 cube all over 0 0.025 times 0 0.005 raised to the power of 3 times 0 0.5 times 10 raised to the power of 9 so we press it in our calculator 16 pi squared times 0 0.75 cube Then divided by bracket 0 0.025 times 0 0.005 cube times 0 0.5 times 10 raised to the power of 9. So you'll be getting 42.6. 3669101 and that will be giving you 42.64. That will be giving you 42.64 um, 42.64 second square over what kg. That first one we got, the first one we got, we said that the k is equal to 0 0.6615 right we said that k equals to 0 0.6615 please the unit of that first one because we are talking about because we are talking about y equals to k m the unit of that first one is equal to meter meter per kg please very important that you take note of units i I forgot it. 
please don't make that mistake I just made now. Don't forget to include your unit. Your care 0 0.6615 meter per kg. Uh -huh. But this one care is what? For 2.64 second square over kg. So note it. So the first value of t square. The first value of t square will be equals to this times 0 0.1 for 2.64 times 0 0.1. And when you multiply this, it will be giving you 0 0.4264. So we'll be having it to be, it will be giving you 4.264. Then we'll be having it to be 4.4.26 that means 42.64 times 0 0.1 4.264 approximated to be 4.6 please we don't put it here you put it to where it belongs 4.26 that is about t squared so we now said this same figure times 0 0.2, 42.64 times 0 0.2. That will be giving me 8.528. That is 8.53. So we also say times 3. Times 3. 42.64 times 0 0.3, 12.79. Then times 0 0.4, that will be 17.06. Then times 0 0.5. That will be giving you 21.32. Okay? So, we have gotten your T square. T square is related to this T by square root. So, when you get the square root of T square, you get your T. Oh, yeah? Square root of 4.26 will give you what? 2.06. Square root of 8.53 will give you what? 2.93. 2.92, please. It's a mistake from me. Square root of 12.79. That will be giving you 3.58. Three point five eight, right? Then square root of seventeen point zero six. That will be giving you four point one three. Square root of twenty one point three two. That will be giving you four point six two. Okay. Yes. Now we go to our t. How do we get our t? Remember that your period is equal to time it takes to complete what? The given number of oscillation or cycle. And so the time given is what you have to look for. It implies that t is equal to n times t. Where n is 10. 10 complete oscillation times each of this t you have. So 10 times 2.06 will be giving you 20.60. 10 times this will be giving you 29.20. 10 times this will be giving you 35.80. 10 times this will be giving you 41.30. 10 times this will be giving you 46.20. Wow. We have successfully produce our table. Okay? Yes. We have successfully produced our table. We will go to graph plotting now.